Maternity and flu ward is the headline. Patients suffering from respiratory issues have been placed in the Gladstone Hospital maternity ward as the flu season stretches its bed capacity. Bronwyn, this issue of health, specifically in Queensland, really makes my blood boil, but specifically in the regions. Gladstone Hospital is already at capacity when it comes to things like maternity issues. We're hearing stories of women having to give birth on the side of dirt roads, and now you're putting, you know, young families in the same space as people with respiratory issues. When when RSV around the country is on fire when it comes to little infants, this just is insanity, isn't it? Of course it is. And, you know, the, the, real, the real thing is this. Queensland is the most decentralised state in the Commonwealth and it needs mm. to have hospital sources, resources in those decentralised towns. And yet under this uh, uh, Palaszczuk woman, there has been, what, closures as well? We've had stories of women being mm -hmm. driven miles and that's why they've been having them on the side of the road because they haven't been able to get to a hospital on time. And this just shows once again, um, you remember when the, uh, the lockdowns were on, how she said uh, Queensland hospitals were yeah, for Queenslanders. Yeah. Well, clearly she yeah. understood that they couldn't cope with, uh, what, with Queenslanders alone. They couldn't bring other people in to uh, assist them either. So... It, it really is a mess, and she's more interested in uh, working out her post-premiership, uh, being ahead of the games and uh, bathing in the spotlight there. Mm. And the sooner she's got rid of, the better. Mm. But where's Chris Afuli, Jenna? I mean, yeah. you know, he, he, he yeah. seemed... He's just not loud enough. He's got to scream more about this. He has to if he wants to mm. win government next mm -hmm. time round.